Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm up bright and early to just hang out with you guys and film a try new makeup. I have a bunch of products that I haven't been able to demo. The Sephora sale was going on and that was really just all consuming. I was posting a lot of content with a lot of new makeup drops and just sale recommendations, hauls, stuff like that. So I think I got a little burnt out and I just needed a little bit of a breather. So I haven't filmed for about two weeks. I feel like honestly I've never done this before in my life I'm feeling a little bit weird but I just want to hang out with you guys maybe catch up a little bit and then I am going to be using new products as always I will link everything that I use down below in my description box if you're new here I hope you stick around and subscribe I do a ton of makeup content and if you like first impression videos please give this video a thumbs up and let's go ahead and dive into trying a bunch of new products and catching up So I also wanted to touch on a new fragrance. I know that I typically don't talk about fragrance other than like favorites videos, but I really wanted to shout out this new fragrance from Letta. So this is owned by Stephanie Letta here on YouTube. She came out with her first niche fragrance and this is called 22 Auris. So she sent this to me in PR, so thank you for sending this over. And I didn't know if I was gonna like this, but I thought I would give you guys my thoughts because a lot of you have been wondering what it smells like if it's a safe blind buy so if you like perfumes like I do I think you would really enjoy this and this has really surprised me when I read the notes which I will put on the screen originally I thought this was going to be overly floral and floral can really give me a headache but it is not there's something really interesting about this scent and it's kind of throwing me because I don't know how to describe it other than soft feminine it definitely has a fresh feel to it, maybe a little bit of floral, but not like a headache inducing floral. I don't find it overpowering to the point of getting a headache. I don't really know if this could be offensive to anyone because it's not crazy strong, like, oh, you spray it and you walk in a room and people are like choking, but it's not so light that you feel like you have to reapply it every hour of the day. I typically spray three or four sprays and I can smell this eight hours later. It really, I think, is a safe blind buy if you like a soft, feminine, sweet, but a little bit fresh fragrance. So I've really been enjoying this fragrance. It lingers, but it's not too strong where I feel like I'm getting a headache. And it does have just enough sweetness for me personally. So I think it would be a safe blind buy if you like fragrances like I do. So I will link this down below, but huge congratulations to Stephanie. This is absolutely gorgeous and it is pretty unique to my my collection so I'm definitely interested to see what other fragrances she releases next. So I went ahead and wiped off my lip balm because I wanted to demo and give you my thoughts on this Summer Fridays lip butter balm that I picked up from Sephora. I usually wear my Too Faced Hangover, which you guys know I love, and I wanted to tell you guys that Too Faced is doing 40% off. There's so many sales right now, so I will link this down below. And then they do have this adorable set for holiday that has three limited edition scents. They're like minis, and I think it was originally like $32, but it's 40% off right now so I will have that link down below you guys know how much I love that but I was at Sephora a couple weeks back and I was talking to one of the employees and she said that this is her favorite and I've been seeing a lot of people love it so I picked up the shade poppy this is something that I would use more so during the day because it has this like really pretty tint. Now I think they have a clear one I think like vanilla and then they have a couple really pretty like deeper brown nudes. The texture is definitely thinner than the Too Faced, but with that, I don't find it as hydrating. This is almost like a lip balm, lip oil hybrid. I like the amount of color in this. I wish more like lip oils would have this type of tint to them. It has sort of like a fruity type of scent. I'd be interested in trying one of the deeper shades. It almost reminded me of like the Fenty Beauty hot chocolate I think gloss bomb. I get confused because she has so many different types of gloss bombs, but I like it so far. Not gonna be a night treatment for me, but for the day, I think it's a really nice formula. Okay, so I went ahead and zoomed you in and I wanna start on an eye look. So I just got this last night. This is the new Laura Lee Los Angeles palette and brushes, her holiday launch. The way that she packaged this was so nice and beautiful. 
I just thought it was just so beautifully presented. So in this collection, she has a brush set and also a 10 pan eyeshadow palette. I do believe that you can bundle them as well. So I will link them down below, but there's a ton of brushes in this set, face and eye. And I really like the colors that she chose. So I'm gonna be using these along with some new brushes from BK Beauty. I'm probably gonna just be interchanging them, whichever brush stands out to me, just because I have so many brushes that I haven't been able to demo for you guys yet. And then I'm really excited about the eyeshadow palette. This is the Whimsical Nudes palette. It looked so pretty when she posted it, so I'm interested to see what it looks like in person. So it has a little wrap on it. Here is the front of the palette, and then this is a 10 pan eyeshadow palette. Dun da da da. So here are the tones. Listen, I'm a neutrals girl, 100%. So this is my vibe. I like that there's three really deep mattes up here that really are gonna give you depth. I mean, there really is two really deep. This one looks like it has a lot of depth too. And then there's two lighter mattes and then we have these shimmers. Okay, I'm having a moment. I was gonna swatch these off camera and I just literally barely dipped my fingers into some of these shimmers and I was like, whoa. So I'm gonna take my pinky and a lightly dip in, holy moly. These feel incredible, these shimmers. They almost feel, I wanna say similar to Manny, holy crap, to Manny's new shimmer formula that I adore. Wow, like almost like a cream hybrid. Those are absolutely gorgeous. There's one more shimmer in here. This shimmer feels more powdery. Let's see how it swatches. Yeah, so this one is more of like a standard shimmer or it feels that way when you put your finger in. Whereas these feel like creamy, like there's no fallout at all, no powderiness. Wow, I'm really intrigued to get this on my eyes now. Okay, so along with the Laura Lee Los Angeles brushes, I do have the new BK Beauty brushes. I'm totally late on this. The Sephora sale got me, and then again, I just took a couple weeks off. So this is an extension to their core line, and it looks like everything is just more detailed and precise. So I feel like these would be great for hooded eyes or if you have small eyelid space. And then these I'm really excited about, like this slanted brush. I love brushes like this. And then we have their famous foundation brush, but in a smaller option. I feel like I would actually use this for my concealer as well. But if you have a really small face, I don't. But you know, we're gonna try this. So I'll be switching back and forth between these and the Laura Lee Los Angeles brushes. I will say that this is on sale right now or BK Beauty is on sale in general. I think 20% off site wide, but we'll be testing these out as well. So lots of different brushes. I will link these sets down below though. Okay, so to start this look out, I'm gonna go in to this shade right here and I'm gonna use the BK Beauty 212 from the new Core Expansion. And I want to use this as a transition shade. So this is definitely a yellow transition. So I'm just going to use this as a base, but it definitely leans more yellow than it looks in the pan. So I obviously have not posted a video in a couple weeks and I'm just letting myself take a break because I just feel like I got a little burnt out during the Sephora sale. I don't know if any of you felt that way. And then now we're like into Black Friday and there is some really, really good sales. Okay, so next I have to go into that deep matte green and I'm gonna use the BK Beauty 211. It's just a really precise blending brush. I feel like a lot of people will like the new expansion from BK because they're more detailed. So I'm just going to pack this a little bit on the outer corner, lower. It's nice and pigmented. And then I'm gonna take the L37 and start blending. I've been trying to keep my eyeshadow a little bit lower and I struggle with it. I think because my crease is really low, but I have a lot of lid space up here. So I tend to go too high up a lot of the time. So I'm just sort of building this and buffing. And then I'm gonna go back into that original brush that had that yellow tone on there. 
to soften the outer edges. I feel like I may be a little rusty with eyeshadow. I haven't been wearing much recently. So on another note, Roscoe turned one November 13th. I cannot believe that he is one. He's so adorable and just so loving. So it's just exciting that he's a big boy now. I'm gonna take that brush that had the green on it and I'm just gonna pull it in and then just soften this as well. So I'm just keeping this low but I am pulling it all the way through and then going back in again and I'm just sort of blending the edges. Okay, next I'm gonna go into this shade right here. I feel like I need something that's not quite as dark as that green shade, but also not as light as that like yellow transition. So I'm going to just use this very lightly so that I don't have any harshness in between. Okay, so now I want to get into the gorgeous shimmers. I really want to start off, let me start off with this shade right here, which is more of that like deeper green. These are so incredibly pigmented like when you put your finger in you barely touch and they just are insane so i'm going to apply this on my lid that is gorgeous and then i'm going to go into this lighter green shade this color story is interesting because it definitely leans like yellow green but it's still quite neutral so I'm actually gonna take the L39. Let's see how this applies with a brush. Okay, that applied great with a brush. I'm gonna go back in to that first shimmer, the deeper green shimmer. And I'm just going to blend it in to the lighter green. I'm really not even getting much fallout either. There's something really creamy about these. And then I'm just taking that deep matte green into the shimmer. Okay, so I ended up just really haphazardly blending this really high up. I said I wasn't going to do that, but you know, here we are. So I did a really thin line of liner, and I'm going to go into the black in this palette, and I'm just going to smudge that out. So I'm going to use the 210 from BK Beauty. So I'm just going to use this to smudge this out. Okay, so I am gonna put lashes on, but I wanted to demo the new Tower 28 Make Waves Mascara. So I picked this up during the sale. It has one of those wands that's prickly and it's curved. So I've been trying this out and I don't really know if I'm obsessed. I feel like it's one of those that can get clumpy pretty quickly. So it definitely gives me length, but it doesn't give me a ton of volume. So I prefer volumizing mascaras. So I don't dislike it. I feel like it's one of those that I can do one coat and then I would probably go in with a volumizing mascara just to really thicken my lashes. But this is what it looks like. So it does build up quickly like I don't think you could do a ton of layers I don't know at least for me so this is what the tower 28 mascara looks like it's just really not my favorite it's one of those that I would have to reach into another mascara to really get that volume that I want so I'm gonna go ahead and do my lashes off camera and then we will jump back in and finish off the face Okay, so lashes are on. They're actually from Kiss, so I will link them down below. I just purchased these from Ulta last week. But I did also apply my moisturizer, and I want to go in and test out this Peace Out Pore Perfector. So I got this during the sale, and I've used it a couple times, but I still am gathering my thoughts. I am a huge fan of the Glowish, as you guys know. This one's interesting because it comes out almost like it's not a skin color per se, but it has like a little bit of a tint to it. There's been a lot of really good primers, so I'm just honestly testing them all. This one doesn't have a scent that I can detect. It does feel a little bit silicone-like. It says that it's supposed to help with pores, texture, and visible redness. 
Not sure about the redness part. I think because it has that tint, but honestly, anytime I touch my face with anything, my face gets red. So, so I'll keep testing that out, but I'm going to go in with a foundation I know and love. I don't have a new foundation. I'm going to use the Stay Naked from Urban Decay. I have the shade 41 NN. So I recently did an ad with Urban Decay on Instagram for their Black Friday sale. Again, so many brands are having them. So right now their website is 30% off, but they gave me a code which gives you an additional 20% off. So like anything that's on sale, you can stack my code and get another 20% off. So I will link that down below, but it is essentially like I did the math and I think it's like 44% off, which is crazy. So I'm just going to go in with this foundation because this is an OG favorite of mine. I've recommended this so many times and I want to try out the brushes from Laura Lee and BK. We'll do one on each side. So I'm going to start out with the BK 109. This is a smaller version of their 101, which is one of my favorites. So initially I can tell that this has more flexibility, whereas the 101 is a little bit more packed. This would be really nice for right here, like around the brows, the hairline. And even though it's smaller, I feel like it's still getting the job done pretty quickly. It's not so small that I feel like I can't, you know, cover my face and it just becomes annoying. So I'm gonna go in on the other side with the L11. This is like a flat kabuki. She also has a round kabuki in this set, but. So obviously you're gonna get a faster application because this is a larger brush. It's pretty soft, so it's not one of those like the Sigma Flat Kabuki. This one really like bends, but I'm not seeing any streaking. Okay, so foundation is on. I really don't know which I prefer. I do like that you can do more of like a stippling with the BK Beauty because it has that slant. It's really nice to add coverage in certain areas, but I really liked both. So I wanna go in with my Too Faced Born This Way concealer. This is just one of my go-tos, especially if I'm doing more of a glam look. And I think from the new BK brushes, the 110 is supposed to be for concealer. I was gonna use that other one, but I think this is actually like meant for concealer. Plus this Urban Decay foundation is a little deep for me. So I'm gonna use this to really brighten up. So this blends really nicely. Kind of reminds me of a brush I have from Makeup by Mario and the Sephora collection. It's like an older collab they did. The gold handled brushes, that's kind of what it reminds me of. So I'm just setting with a little puff using my Huda powder. Okay, so to finish off the eyes, I'm gonna go in with my Nabla liner. And I'm using the BK210. I'm just gonna blend this. And then I'm gonna grab this deep matte green shade again. to smoke this out. And then I'm gonna take a touch of this brown shade up here and just smoke this underneath. And for the inner corner, I'm gonna try a little bit of this metallic. These metallics are so creamy. Okay, so I'm gonna leave the eyes there for now. I need to add some definition to my face. So I'm gonna go in with this Kaleidos Contour Trio in medium. They sent over a package and these are really heavy. You know what I like to say, you can knock somebody out with this. So I have the medium trio here. I'm gonna go into the cooler tone. I was gonna use that brush, which is one of my favorites from Sonia G, but I'm actually gonna go in and use this brush, which is the 112 from BK Beauty. So this feels pretty powdery. Okay, I feel like that's too cool. I'm gonna go into the warmer tone in here. Okay, I don't like that color of contour with the makeup we have right now. So I'm trying to just go over it. 
Okay, I don't really like that tone with the warmth that we have going on. So I'm just gonna go in with my Juvia's Place Bronze Duo. This is the medium color. And I'm just gonna mix both of these together. I'm gonna use the BK 111. I feel like I need a warm bronzer. Hopefully that contour underneath doesn't look too weird. So for blush, I have a new color from Persona Cosmetics. This is in the color Jam. It looks really dark, but when you blend it out, it's like this gorgeous pinky color. So I'm just gonna use a beauty sponge and use a really light pressure. The Persona blushes are really, really nice. One of my favorites. That contour, I wish I would have not applied that, but here we are. I mean, this is definitely pigmented, but it's not like Rare Beauty pigmented where you have to be like crazy careful. Definitely just work off your hand. Okay, so I love that color. I don't love the contour that I applied, but I can't remove it at this point. So I wanna go in and try this J-Cat highlighter. This looks really pretty. This is the You Glow Girl in Seaside Frost. This might be a little bit too much. I don't know. I have the L36. Okay, so I'm changing again. I think this is too icy for the sort of yellow green in the eyes. So I'm just gonna go in with my Dior into the gold shade. I feel like that's still pulling pretty icy, but we're just gonna have to make it work. So I'm just gonna go over with my sponge. So for lips, I don't want anything too bright just because we have a lot going on in the eyes and cheeks. So I'm gonna start off with my favorite lip liner from Makeup by Mario and Travis. Okay, and for lipstick, I have these new lipsticks from M Cosmetics. These are the soft-spoken liquid lipsticks. So they're really moussey. I have the shade here, Whisper, and then I also have Petal. I think I'm gonna go with Whisper just because Petal is a little bit more mauve -y. So I'm gonna start off with Whisper. It's definitely like that moussey, cushiony feel, and it has a really interesting doe foot. I know M Cosmetics is having a sale as well. I don't know if these are included. So I'm just gonna blend this in. They have like that sort of like soft powder feel, but they feel quite hydrating. So it almost feels like it has like a silicone in it because it's just really gliding. All right guys, so here's my finished makeup look, trying out a bunch of new products. It's definitely not my favorite, but I have some thoughts on the products I tried. So same thoughts I said before about the Summer Fridays. I do wanna maybe pick up one of the more brown nude shades, just for an everyday throw in my bag, touch up sort of gloss. So I like the Summer Fridays, I may get another shade. Now in terms of my thoughts on the Laura Lee Los Angeles palette, I love the whole vibe of this palette. The colors are gorgeous. I would have liked to see this shade be less yellow. That is the one critique that I have have, but I have to say that the shimmers in here are incredible. I mean, look at the payoff on these metallics. Absolutely gorgeous. And I use these with no setting spray and they went on beautifully. They apply beautifully with a brush as well. So I think the metallics in here are just incredible. The mattes, I feel like I had a little bit of issue trying to blend the green with the yellow. Again, they are quite different in depth and I'm a little bit rusty to be honest. So I feel like the metallics in here really stand out. I'm excited to keep trying this palette out and trying more everyday looks but every time I get on here I say I'm gonna go natural but I have to push myself and I had to use those greens in terms of the brushes that also can be bundled with the palette I don't feel like I tried enough to really give my thoughts I really only used a handful of them because I did have the BK Beauty as well I really like the way they feel they're weighted and they feel really nice and I love the coloring and the whole vibe of everything but because I wasn't able to use a 
ton of the brushes because I was also trying to throw in the BK Beauty. I'll have to keep trying these out and update. Moving on to the Tower 28 mascara. Again, my thoughts are the same. I feel like this is a little bit of a heavy formula, so it really can get clumpy quickly, and I feel like it weighs my lashes down a little bit. I just much prefer a volumizing mascara. This is something that I would use in conjunction with another mascara to really give me that volume. So I don't hate it, but I'm not wowed. Same kind of feeling with this piece out pore primer. I feel like my pores don't look incredible, but they don't look horrible. I would much rather reach for my Glowish or even the Cali Ray or the Hourglass. Those are all three just really wowing me. So I feel like this is okay, but it also says on the back, not applying makeup, no problem. So they seem to market this more as like a no makeup blurring your skin. I don't think that it did anything for my redness, which this claims it does, but I'll keep trying it out. I just don't think it's going to become a wow favorite for me. I'm not really sure how I feel about the Kaleidos contour kit. I love the packaging, but when I dipped in, I felt like the cool shade is like gray ashy, like really almost too gray looking like just didn't look good on the skin. And then I went into this shade and it was a little bit better, but still not great. But because the shade clashed with the makeup I'm wearing right now, I can't really tell if it's a formula I don't like or just the color. I'm still loving the Persona Cosmetics Cream Blush Sticks. This shade looks scary, but as you can see from it on my skin, it's beautiful. This is such an easy formula to work with. It's not overly pigmented. It's not sheer, it's not overly dewy, but it's not dry. She really does a great job with this formula. I think there are now, I wanna say five shades, and I'm excited to see what else she comes out with. I'm not surprised that I'm quite impressed with the BK Beauty Extension Kit. I have to say the standouts for me would be the mini foundation brush, which is the 109. I really loved the 110 for concealer. It was just a great size. And the eye brushes in this kit are really precise, great if you have hooded eyes, small lid space, or you just like more detailed brushes. Feels like this whole kit is really just more detail, precision, and I really like that. So you can be very strategic in where you place your makeup. So this is a standout from today. Today, I think a lot of these brushes are going to become top favorites for me. And then lastly, my thoughts on the M Cosmetics liquid lipstick. This is more of an everyday soft blurred type of look. I feel like I wouldn't reach for this with a intense look like I'm wearing right now, but again, I was just trying new products. It's very moussey, almost like that powdery feel, but I find this has more of a silicone slip to it, so it's quite comfortable on the lips. It's going to last longer than a bullet lipstick, but not quite as as long as a liquid lipstick and it's not going to be dried and cracked like liquid lipsticks that we know and maybe don't love. So my first impression on this is this is more of an everyday pretty sort of flush of color for my lips rather than a full glam type of product. Okay guys, so I think that is everything for this trying new makeup. I had a ton of brushes to use and I tried to throw in as much makeup as possible. I will link everything down below with the discounts and all of the information because there are a ton of sales going on right now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'm sorry for taking my break, but I do feel better and refreshed. So hopefully I'm back to regular uploading. If you're new here, I hope you stick around and subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.